Hello and welcome back to my video about uh, Bootstrap View. And in this video, we want to speak about how it can work with Avatar. Avatar in the Bootstrap View is using for small, nice um, profile images. If you have a profile and you need to show the user's information, and it's going to be used for counting, or it could be used for something else like that. It's uh, very useful, and I use it mostly for, for user settings so people can see how their uh, profile images it, it's look like. Before we are starting, I will just uh, uh, ask you to subscribe to this channel. I really hope you want. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can do it in the right corner below and press on the thing. I'd be very happy if you subscribe so you can get my videos when I hit new out there. And if you have any questions, please make it in the comments below. And remember, all my stuff can be found on my GitHub profile. And the links is, will be in the description. So just see what is in my description. Let's uh, do some code now. Now you will know what's happening inside the video. And you know how you can subscribe to my channel. So yes, let's say uh, beginning. And I've been happy to teach you today. So let's create the first avatar. And we can just say B avatar here and inside this we can say the source of the avatar and I'll just use the place kitten place kitten.com and then we say 300 and 300 and the place kitten is a thumbnail with the nice kitties so let's see what happening here you can see the small nice kitty here it's inside the, the avatar and that's the very very basic about how the avatar is working. The the next we want to speak about it's how we can working with the size number and with the pixels and with the with the rim. So let's uh, do it with the with the three different sizes. I'll just say class here and say mark and right should be two, so we can see what happening. And I'll use three here and. What we want to do now is the size. The first one should be uh, the size on, on 24 pixels. And you can see I don't I don't need to make an object out of that because it's just a string. And the next one we want to 40, 42. And this is a string, so we need to not the class, sorry. We need to say the size. And 42 here. And then the last one we want to say size is equal to. Uh, six rim, so you can use different size uh, size areas to, to work with. And let's just play around and say this is a 410 whoops, and 20 and 30, because then when we do this, we get different kitties, and we love kitties here. So let's go back, and you can see we have three different, uh, four different kitties now in four different sizes, and all of those using the avatar tag. So let's go back for the editor one more time. And if you're tired to see on kitties, probably you don't like kitties, and you want to an icon, so we can say the avatar, and you can say icon is equal to star fill. And uh, we need to size to say tree rim. What I want to demonstrate here is you can basically just use it for icons you can make avatar icons this is a, a image you can use i use kitties i love kitties because i can't find a placeholder for dogs i really really love dogs i have a friend's bulldog and it's so amazing and if you have seen lots of my videos you know you can hear click 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 that's my dog and back from my private life i know you're here too yeah <laughs> just to learn about the avatar. So going back on the track one more time. And we have the star field here. And uh, I will uh, copy this. You can remove this one. And don't need, if, if you don't need uh, to use the icon, but uh, you need uh, like the uh, NGLs on the person like I'm person Akita Kaiser, then you want to say PNK. I don't know 100% how it's uh, what it's pronounced on English, um, but that's what it is, and that's how we can do it. 
you can see I have a PNK here to say this is my uh, profile. So if I'm not have uploading my uh, profile picture yet, then it will stay with PNK. That, that's what the plan is to do this. You can, uh, of course, change in color. The color is changing like everything else we can do in the bootstrap. So let's uh, mix out what the color is. I will just show you all the colors. And we use it with the variant and secondary. And then we have the primary. We have dark, we have light, we have uh, succeeds, we have danger, we have info, and we have warning. And that's all the, the types you can use. Let's go back to the browser to see all the variants here. See all the variants down here. And if you don't um, don't fill out any kind of stuff, it will just use uh, an avatar logo as with the person. Sometimes you don't want the the circle, so you probably want uh, some like square. So I think that's a, a nice way to do this. So let's play around the shapes on it. Let's go back and I'll just copy all of those. So we have it. And the first one, I'll just uh, say square and save it. Going back from the browser, you can see this is square. And uh, then we can play around with the, the round if you only if you want like a, yeah, if you want to have it rounded. And we're going back, you can see it here. That's meaning you have, this, you have a square. You have a default one, it's a circle. And then we have a square, and then we have a rounded. Rounded is some nice, you can see here in, in the corners, it's, it's a little bit rounded. And uh, you, you can, of course, you can say, um, you can say rounded, it's equal to small. That's meaning we want only to build it with a very small one. So normally we have a little one. And I think if we scrolling a little bit in, so its default is small. And if I'm going back for the editor here, and uh, say this one, and say large, you would probably could see the different. It's a bad color. We can't see that so much. So I will just move it. Uh, light, call it darkos. And yeah, you can see this is a small one, and this is a large one. It's not so much you can see the different, but. That definitely is a difference. So if you scrolling in here and let's say with the with the types, you can let's see about we can see uh, the round here. And you can see the lift uh, point here, the large, and it's a zero point three. And if border here you have zero point one, so it's a little bit different here. Let's go back to the normal view and go back for the editor. You can, of course, you can uh, define about different ways. So let's do this. We can say top, we can say left, we can say right, and we can say bottom. And let's see how this it's look like. You can see. Here we have a different way. We only have rounded in, in the corners. So if you, uh, let's say we want to working with, uh, you can see the left and the right here, uh, red and yellow. Let's see, we, we don't need the this one mark and right, we just do this. And then you can just put it together. If it's a round, that's meaning it's, you can see it, but in this case, you can just fill it up. So you can put in a square inside if you if you need that. Probably you need it if, if you need to display, let's say it's a blog post where you need to show which users have coming on this one. You need the five last common user, then you can use it here. You can use either top that. It's very cool. Now we are coming to creating one more. Uh, if you want to use the profile, you can do it here. <coughs> and uh, then we just say deal and we say be avatar. And the variant we want to say the primary, 
And what we want is the text is equal to P and K. And then we need the class. And what I want to do, align baseline. What I want to do now is just to place my name on the <coughs> sorry on the right side. And you can see that's how you can work it, the baseline. So it's um, it's having the same line height. So I can use my username and my profile. And this is my in GLs on on my name. So that's very cool to, to can do. And uh, I think we can go back and speak about uh, avatar with budgets. And the budgets it's when you need to show something like if uh, my, my uh, if my profile get uh, four new messages from other users or have four notifications, it depends on how you use it. And uh, I think that's it's a cool way to work with it if you need that. It uh, could help you to notify the, the user about if something new is happening on the user profile. And for that, we need avatar again, surprise. And we need to add the budgets here. And uh, I think that's it. And let's see class mark and write to. Let's see the first one here. And yes, you can see that we have the budget here. And the default position is uh, bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. And uh, I'll just show how we can place it in different places. So let's add three more. And then we can say budgets uh, left and budgets top. And you can say budgets uh, left and budgets top. That's meaning you can uh, positionize it. First you say it's left and then you say the top. And it's depends on what you need. You can see the different ways here. The default one, this is in the left one, left button, and this is in the top, and this is in the top left. So if you use the top, it's uh, thinking about, okay, if the top is most normal, you have in the top right, and uh, because we have the default in the right button, and uh, that's how it's working. Of course, you will think about how we can use the numbers in these badges, and that's what I want to learn you about now. We have one here, I will just put it down with a little bit of space, so we can customize it. Uh, no, I need it down below here, I can see in my documentation. And I'll just copy this. And remove this. And what we're going to do now is working with the slot. It's a template here. And the V slot. And it's badges. And we can use the four. If you just use the four here, we will have the four number inside here. But if you need something else like a text, you can place it uh, like P and K. I don't know why you want to in the text, but it, it could be because you build something where it makes sense. So just for your own reason, you can see you can place whatever you want inside it here. And that's all from me now. So that's scrolling a bit, little bit in. If you're sitting on mobile, you can see what's happening. Uh, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you don't know how to subscribe, put it on the thing below in the right corner. And of course, hit the like button. And I'll be very happy. And share it with your, with your friends if you want. And smash the comments if you have any questions about the Boost Review and you just want to give the feedback. I really like to teach you and I really hope you will stay here to me with the next videos about Boost Review or other videos from my channel. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. Bye.